How you doing, Trench? I'm back. Now that you read that, that verse to me, guess what happened? What's happened? My point of view all goes to the bin. Do you understand that? It goes one way where? My the idea I had before of the verse mm. is in the bin now. Okay. And? As a Muslim, listen, we don't use our brain. If Allah contradicts our brain, we take our brain out of the sight. We take our brain out of the world. you understand? That's wonderful. We use Allah so, and Him. So what do you use? If you don't use your brain, what do you use? What do you use? If you don't use your brain, if you, you if you just told me, we Muslims, we don't use our brain. Okay. Yes. So what do you if, use? If it contradicts to Allah. Mm. So now your brain contradicts the stupidity of Allah. So you decide to throw your brain no, no, in no, the no. bin. Listen, for example, when I was younger, mm. I would not agree with what is it called a father marrying the stepfather, the stepdaughter of his stepson. I mean, the um wife of his stepson you understand mm. but since the quran allows it that that logic goes to the bin ah, you understand? okay okay so you see muslims are nothing but zombies brain dead zombies they have to always say Sami'ana wa atana. we heard and we obeyed we heard and we obeyed food Not food. Food. Okay. So take the brains from your skull, out of your skull, and throw them in the bin, in the garbage, where they belong. It's just me, Patrick. Because why would you need any brains in Islam? You are not allowed to think. Don't ask questions, says the Quran. Right? So you see, Muslims are nothing but brain dead zombies. They only hear and obey. Right, Mohammedans? You heard the Muslim, right? At least he was honest. In this video, we are going to prove to you that Allah is nothing but an idol. Yes, you heard it correctly. Allah is nothing but an idol. And we are going to prove that to you from the Quran itself. Watch. Chapter 92, Surah Al-Layl, Ayah 3. وَمَا خَلَقَ الذَّكَرْ وَالْأُنْثَى And that which created the male and the female. That. So in the Quran, in chapter 92, Surah Al-Layl, Ayah 3, here, the Arabic is using wama and that and that. So if Allah was not a thing, i.e. a pagan idol, the pagan moon idol to be specific, then it should have been men instead of ma. Men. So the Quran is using wama and what and that for Allah who is creating the male and the female. So here for a split second, the writer of the Quran, if it's Muhammad or anyone else who wrote this ayah, he forgot for a split second that Allah was the pagan Meccan moon idol that already existed before Islam. So here, instead of Waman, Waman, they used wama in this ayah, proving that Allah is nothing but an idol, a pagan idol to be specific. Ma, that refers to a thing without consciousness, without an aql. There is no aql, there, is, there are no brains, there is no mind, there is no consciousness. So, i.e. Allah is a that, he is an idol that has no consciousness. Ma, as used in chapter 92, ayah 3. This is the same ayah. As you see, again, Wama khalaqa dhakar wal untha. 
ما what they have to use men if they want to prove to us that Allah is not a thing but here in the ayah as you see they used وَمَا and what instead of وَمَن a person or in this case a living God but here the proof in this chapter and ayah is that Allah is nothing but a dead idol a solid dead idol and as you see in Sahih International that is written by a Muslim woman a convert to Islam she lied in her translation what else is new and here we see that she used in her translation he who created no that's not what the Arabic says as we showed you here this is a good translation from Arbery and Arbery forgot to do taqiyya you see it here without a bad translation we can read that the meaning of ma is that here the one who wrote this ayah failed miserably and actually he proved to everybody that Allah is a thing a dead idol to be specific this is not the only chapter in the Quran we have also Surah Al-Kafirun chapter 109 Surah Al-Kafirun the unbelievers if we go to ayah 2 we can read لا أعبد ما تعبدون I do not worship what you worship so Muhammad is saying I Muhammad do not worship what you what you pagans worship what means basically their idols now if we go to the following ayah ayah 3 from the same chapter we can read nor are you worshippers of what I worship here Muhammad created a disaster for himself and his followers the Muhammadans for the Muslims why because if Muslims are going to say that in ayah 2 this is referring to their pagan idols then you have a problem because Muhammad is calling his Allah also a what? Ma abudu. Ma. Muhammad should have said Man abud if his Allah was not a stone idol like the pagan idols of Mecca before Islam. Did you catch it? So he Muhammad is calling Allah the same Allah that he's worshipping a what like the pagans of Mecca also calling their idols a what I do not worship what you worship to the pagans and then Muhammad says no are you worshippers of what I worship so what is Allah and Allah is a ma ma abudu. it should have been if Allah was truly not an idol as the Muslims claim a moon idol to be specific Muhammad should have said Man abud or Man abudu. So it should have been Whom I worship. That's what Muhammad had to say in this ayah. Do you see it? The correct way again is Whom I worship. And this proves that Islam is nothing a pagan worship of idols. In this case Allah. If we go to ayah 4 it says nor will I be a worshipper of what you worship. Again, Muhammad is repeating what he's basically saying. So he is now attacking their idols. The what here refers to the idols of the Quraysh of Mecca. And then again, Muhammad shooting himself in the feet in ayah 5 nor will you be worshippers of what I worship so here he's calling his Allah a what again what I worship Muhammad is saying Ma abdu. did you catch it so here Allah's prophet Muhammad proving that Allah is a pagan idol again do you see it you Muslims have to deal with this you Muslims have to deal with this Allah is a ma. He is a unconscious dead idol. An idol without consciousness. A dead moon idol. 
Muslims, you are nothing but zombies. You don't understand what you read. And you always tell us, Sami'na wa ata'na. We heard and we obeyed. So you don't think for yourselves. Now guys, thank you for watching. Please share our videos all over social media. This has to go viral, people. God bless. My the idea I had before of the verse mm. is in the bin now. Okay. And? As a Muslim, listen, we don't use our brain. If Allah contradicts our brain, we take our brain out of the sight. We take our brain out of the world. You understand? That's wonderful. So take the brains from your skull, out of your skull, and throw them in the bin, in the garbage, where they belong. It's just me, Patrick. Oh. I was like, whoa, oh my God. I was like.